Greetings and welcome to Prayer for America and the Nations. I'm Walter Zigarevich with Global Vision Ministries. And I'm Nina Zigarevich. And at the other screen are our co-hosts on this broadcast, Tony and Marge Ingram. And you who are watching us, thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to be here together to pray and to talk about the things of God, to share God's word, to pray for one for another. And as Brother Tony just reminded me by lifting up his phone, share right now. Before we go any further, it just takes one second. Take your finger, press the share button on your phone, and it will automatically Put this broadcast on your Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on LinkedIn or on YouTube, there is a share option right there. You can share by email, you can share by text, you can share uh, in uh, to your Facebook. But please share because this is a way of evangelizing. This is a way of helping people because there are many, many people who not only need to hear the gospel, but are in are in need of prayer, in need of a right. breakthrough, mm-hmm. in need of healing, in need of uh, uh, a situation they are facing. And that is why you are tuning in. And thank you for tuning in. Do write in your prayer requests. We do take those seriously. We do pray for those. And we are Bring for those that you have sent in. Mm -hmm. So we know that God has been answering prayer. We heard about two answers to prayer. It's important for us to know that when you receive the answer to your prayer, to let us know. We found out this week that two people that we prayed for were healed. And uh, praise God. Well, God answers. God is moving. Amen. Uh, Tony and Marge. Praise the Lord. Well, it's a joy to be with you, Brother Walter and Sister Nina, and those that are tuning in to hear. We want to share some of the word of God and promises of God with you today, that God is alive and hears us when we pray. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad we have a God whose arm is not short, that he cannot touch and deliver people or his ear is not heavy that he cannot hear. He hears our prayers and he's, and thank the Lord for those answers. And we're seeing answers to prayers as well as we pray for people. And uh, we thank God that he is on the throne and he cares about every one of us because he loves the world. He died for the whole world. Jesus died that we might have eternal abundant life So today we want to share that abundant life and blessings of God with you. And to remember those words that Walter and Nina closed the broadcast with, uh, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we thank God that his joy that he he gave 2,000 years ago is still alive and still flowing from heaven, especially Mm -hmm. when we look unto him who is the author and finisher of our faith. And we kind of the privilege to join uh, Walter and Nina yes. uh, on these uh, Wednesday midweek uh, broadcasts. And uh, this morning, uh, I also am happy that uh, Walter arranged for me to teach at the Abundant Life uh, Bible School. I believe that's called yes. Abundant Life in uh, Nepal. Now, Nepal's on the other side of the world. And at first, Uh, Walter wanted to know if I wanted to do five hours in a row, beginning at uh, 11 o'clock at night. And I said, no, uh, let's kind of piecemeal it out and I'll do an hour every night. So, uh, but we have had a wonderful time with uh, the students there. They seem very, uh, they're not sleeping. Well, actually it's early in the morning for them there. And uh, they seem to be absorbing uh, the word of God. And Brother Deepak, uh, whom uh, we had the privilege of uh, teaching in a Bible college years ago, and was at his graduation. Even I had the opportunity there in India to help with the graduation and uh, to see the wonderful job that they're doing. And thanks to, uh, to Walter and Nina and Global Vision, 
uh, they are helping uh, that ministry over there that uh, they are doing and their number of workers and and uh, have provided bicycles and and different things that have helped them and when you help global vision and i'm saying this right at the beginning of the broadcast if you help you can be sure that the the, the work of god is being uh being supplied with what you give such as ukraine now whatever you give for ukraine 100 percent goes there but there's other outreaches of global vision because it is global uh of course uh, in nepal and in africa and in uh different uh, different parts right yeah. and uh because there's like a revival spreading uh from ukraine uh, it's when they when they when the war began the people were scattered just like in the book of acts do you remember how the church began uh there was persecution they began to go into other parts of the world world of, that was known at that time and they were beginning uh, to establish churches and the work of god was going so much so that paul said wrote there in um the 20th chapter, the 20th verse, I call it, I call it Vision 2020, that all the known world at that time was actually being reached with the word of God being established. And uh, well, that's the idea of global vision. And I ask you to pray for Walter and Nina. They're soon on their way to Cuba. Cuba I was going to say Cuba, like the Spanish, but to Cuba. And uh, uh, let's pray. They're going to soon be there. Pray that their uh, uh, visas will come through. They're not just, they're not tourist visas. They are ministry visas. And this is more, I, I understand, uh, you got to be more patient for it. So anyways, uh, uh, I, I better hush up now, but I want you to pray, especially for Walter and Nina Zagrevich, that God will bless their ministry that God has given them. And we're glad to be able to help from time to time in Abundant Life Crusades, uh, which Marge and I are uh, also president and I guess vice president of it. And uh, no, you're a secretary treasurer. That's yeah. right. Okay. And uh, <laughs> anyways, we're glad to be part and able to support in part uh, some of the ministry that Global Vision is doing, and they are doing a wonderful job, Amen. or we wouldn't be behind them. God bless you, Walter and Nina. We love you, and we're praying yes. that God will just uh, multiply uh, the blessings of God upon you, especially as you go to Cuba, that God will open doors that you don't even expect are going to open, and there's going to be people saved, healed, and those ministers that you minister to are going to actually bring forth and help bring forth a great harvest in all of Cuba. God bless you both. Amen. Thank you. And we Thank have you. about 120 so far, and the number keeps increasing, pastors and leaders that will be attending the conference next week in Havana. And we need your prayers, uh, especially, well, there are so many components to this. There are so many parts. Last time, we had to make three flight attempts before we were allowed to land. The first two, we were denied uh, a landing uh, uh, in, in, in the country. The third time, we were able to land. The devil really fought us on that one. It's so many different ways, but we had such great victory, great uh, meetings uh, with those we had uh, been with there. And we are looking forward to what God is going to do. Uh, we believe the nation is at a very unique point point in their history. We believe that revival is beginning to break out, and it is beginning to break out in the nation of Cuba, and uh, that is the sense and the, the prophetic words that pastors have had there over the years, and they feel that this is the moment for that and we are sensing the same thing, and that is why we are making this extra special effort to 
get back there again this year. This is our second trip into the nation this year. And uh, there's a lot of anticipation. There is a, a lot of uh, expectation. Um, and I know that God is going to move in a powerful way. But there are still uh, things that need to happen. And one of those is the uh, release of our visas. They've been uh, processing since uh, the end of March. And uh, it takes a while to get a visa there for religious purposes, and we're supposed to uh, get it any time. We want that to happen quickly. We need to have those visas before we can board the flights uh, to the country. So, um, Brother Tony, perhaps you could pray for that. Pray for us and pray. Uh, Brother Albert Ramirez is going with us, as well as two pastors from Southern Florida, and those are Pastor Elkin Espinal. I've had him on the Spanish uh, broadcast, and uh, Pastor Benjamin uh, Paris, uh, also from South Florida, two great men of God. They've been to Ukraine, they've been to Poland, and in fact, that's where we first met them. And um, we are looking forward to their participation as well. It's their first time to Cuba, and God is going to move in a powerful way. But please, Brother Tony, would would you just take a moment right now to pray for us and pray for the um, the these visas to be finalized, uh, released, and uh, yes. sent to us because we do need them uh, uh, before boarding our flights. But I would like to ask everyone that's watching now, if you're able, to stretch forth your hand or put your hand on your phone as I pray, as extending the blessing of God to Walter and Nina, as they get ready now in a week, the next week there's to be in the Cuba, and these uh, visas need to come through, and we are claiming that uh, the Psalm, uh, the 191st uh, Psalm for them, that uh, God's divine protection will be upon them, and uh, they won't need to fly uh, three times to get there, that God is going to go before them and, and keep the plane, keep the equipment, <clears throat> and bless them. Father, in the name, name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, as yes, we Lord. extend our hand towards Walter and Nina by faith, uh, we ask for your yes. divine protection. Uh, we, we claim the 91st yes, Psalm, Lord. for he yes, that ab Lord. abideth uh, under the shadow of the Almighty, uh, lives under the shadow of God. And Lord, as they live and work and minister under your shadow, in your presence, uh, we ask that you protect them, put your angels round about them, under them, over them. And Lord, most of all, that in the conference, we know, Lord, in addition to the meetings and other uh, uh, outreaches that they will be having with the Cuban ministers. Uh, Lord, we ask that during that conference uh, that the Holy Ghost would fall. Lord, uh, like on the day of Pentecost, there was 120 and you poured out your spirit that uh, they saw the cloven tongues of fire. They heard the rustling, uh, 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 wind. uh, the winds coming, uh, oh, hallelujah. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and they left that upper room uh, going out into the streets, uh, into the highways, in the byways. Uh, Lord, uh, with that wonderful gospel, and yes. people were yes. saved, yes. thousands were saved. Yes. And so in this conference, uh, Lord, we know the devil doesn't want this. Uh, he would try to stop it. Uh, but Lord, uh, we, you are greater for if you be for us, yes. who can be against us? Yes. And we speak the word uh, over Walter and Nina, that your divine protection and your divine anointing yes. will be upon them and they will make every decision right that you yes. give them favor favor uh, over the authorities, favor over the weather, favor, Lord, in the name of the Jesus, uh, uh, over their travel, and, their and the Lord, for these visas, uh, we ask in Jesus' name uh, that, yes, Lord, Lord, you will move on their behalf, uh, and yes, that Jesus. your will will be done, yes. and it is your will that they be blessed, that the Cuban ministries will be blessed, 
and the people will be blessed and, and great things will happen. Brother and Albert, Lord, uh, I, we ask for Brother Albert uh, yes. and Lord, these two Cuban pastors uh, from Florida that are going yes. with Brother Walder and Sister Nina, that yes. Lord, you will do the yes. same for them, yes. that a mighty anointing yes. will be upon them and you will use them for the glory of God. Oh, hallelujah. We are, we are, we are believing it. We are expecting it. And Lord, that they will see a great beginning of a harvest in Jesus name. And we just raise our hands and we now praise you, Lord. We thank you in advance. Thank in the you. name of Jesus, you, as your divine protection will be upon them, and that you will keep them in health and yes, strength Lord. and anointing Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 We believe that. We receive that. And we thank every one of you that is praying for us and for this outreach to Cuba, this mission to Cuba. Thank you also for those who are praying for the outreach in Nepal. It is um, uh, going, uh, things are going well. Things are not easy there. Uh, Brother Tony has been teaching this week there. The temperatures uh, have been 43 to 46 Celsius a few days ago. Uh, Brother Deepak wrote there's 46 Celsius. I'm not sure what exactly that is in uh, U.S. Uh, or in uh, Fahrenheit, probably around 120, <laughs> but it's very hot and humid and uh, the um, they're needing refrigeration, they're needing uh, some computers there at the school and um, pray for them, pray for the students. They are, come from remote parts of Nepal and God can do a mighty work through these mm -hmm. young men and women as they uh, go through this training, they'll go out and be used by God. And our prayer is that many, many more churches will be planted and established uh, both in Nepal and India. And uh, we, as you may know, are supporting the church plants uh, in Nepal and in North India. And God is moving in a wonderful way. But please continue to pray. If God speaks to you, you want to support that effort, please designate that as such. And if you want to help us with the Cuba mission, and we have a lot of needs in relationship to that journey as well, Please do not hesitate to do that. But in that giving, please, uh, for Cuba, do not use the word Cuba. It will gum things up um, with the banks because of the embargo. So put the word Caribbean missions. Um, what we're doing is proper, is legal, and is allowed. But it's just that that word will stop things until we explain, uh, explain everything. And that can delay uh, those funds for weeks uh, and even longer. So um, uh, just saying that to avoid that situation. Um, and then uh, uh, Ukraine thinks we uh, just got off the phone with uh, Brother Igor, whom you've seen mm -hmm. on here. Uh, we were in, uh, he was one of our team members when we were in Ukraine. Well, he's formed a team and now he's splitting it up to two teams, uh, chaplaincy teams, musicians and preachers, they're sharing the gospel with the troops on the front lines. He's currently in the region of Zaporizhia. I told him that we are praying for him, and I know that you are, and his team, and now soon to be two teams, as they go to the front lines, and things have gotten very dangerous and very difficult because there are huge battles that are raging, and we had Bishop uh, uh, Sasha or Alexander uh, Bobby Chugan here yesterday telling us about the situation in Kherson. We've got some urgent pleas from Ukraine. Now, the situation in Kherson is very difficult, but there are other areas affected now because of the lack of water. And so we are being asked to help with putting in a well and a 
filtration system to provide drinking water and cooking water for 1,000 to 1,500 people. And this is in the region of Dnipropetrovsk, just across the river from the um, uh, region of uh, Zaporizhia. And uh, uh, they are lacking water because they were getting water from the reservoir that is emptying out uh, through the broken dam or exploded dam. And so not all the water has escaped, fortunately, but this has placed a, a big, huge uh, 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 need on people to get drinking water in areas that didn't have a problem before. Herson, it was the flooding and they do need drinking water in some of the villages in the city. Somehow they're able to still manage, my understanding is from the interview yesterday, but they need our prayers. Uh, and the situation in Herson is very complicated. Buildings are collapsing because the soaking of the water is softened up the foundations if a house wasn't made was perhaps an older house in a village made out of mud bricks well that's disintegrating right now uh, the foundation got too soaked the water went up too high and now there is the problem of sanitation and preventing uh, infectious diseases, diseases from spreading because of uh, the situation. Uh, the apartment buildings are trying, they need pumps to pump out the water out of the ground floor and the basements that many of them have, the underground portions. So the water is receding, but there's still water in the lower areas, and that would include the underground areas of these large buildings. So they're trying to, uh, people want to go back to their homes. They're not allowing them because they're unsafe, um, and um, they have to check them out. And these big buildings, they have to make sure that they're safe enough for people to go back to. And there's that prevention of the attempt to sanitize, disinfect as much as possible. First, you've got to pump out the water, dry out these buildings. And so it's there are many things happening. But in the middle of all these things, the churches are standing strong. And you could hear that in Bishop Alexander's voice yesterday. First words out of his mouth were, God got us through the Russian occupation. He got us through the um, the all the attacks that came on us after uh, the Ukrainian forces liberated uh, them. And but he says, and God is going to get us through this flood situation as well. And mind you that they're still being shelled. There are battles raging not far from them. So they're being shelled while they're being res uh, trying to rescue people. Uh, the people cannot stay outside and they cannot stay inside. So they have to be evacuated because outside is dangerous. Inside it's dangerous and their homes are in some cases, uh, in many cases, unlivable. So we continue to pray for that situation in Ukraine for the nation. And let's pray that this war would quickly come to an end. Um, we need to uh, pray for that. And God answers prayer. And that's one of the things that um, we heard again yesterday. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you that you remember us. Thank you that you're standing with us from the beginning. And, and, and they're so appreciative of the fact that we're praying and we're supporting despite the amount of time that this has been going on. And maybe we could just stop right here. And, and again, I want to go back to Brother Tony or Sister March. Perhaps one of you could lead us out in a prayer yeah. for Ukraine uh, right now. Yes, amen. Before I do, Walter, Nina, I'd just like to share something from Isaiah 55 and it's about prayer and God you see how important the water system is the pure water of life and and the water that God gives for he sends the rain he sends the snow down to water the seed for the seed to grow and he talks about that his word will not return void and so it's just like the the rain that comes down from heaven and it, and it waters the seed. It doesn't go back into heaven, but it waters. It accomplishes that for which God wants it to accomplish. 
So he's, he says, my word will accomplish that for which it's sent for the purpose that I send it. So as we pray today, his word, as we speak his word, as we talk about the promises of God, he is answering prayer. Yes, so yes. we're going to pray for Ukraine as we have been praying, but we join together as we pray for Ukraine and the needs there and the, those that are volunteers and are helping and the teams that are working. Uh, we pray for all of them and let us join right now in Jesus name. Father, we yes, thank God. you. We thank you, Lord, that you are oh, on God. the throne. God, you hear from heaven. Lord, you hear, you send your word and you healed them and delivered them from destruction. So Lord, we thank you for the deliverances that you yes, have been Lord. giving there yes, in Ukraine, Lord, for the, the bombs that have fallen and you have protected your, your people, oh, those that are working there, those volunteers, Lord. Yes. We just pray for them and we pray, yes. Father, for the needs to be met. Yes, Lord, Lord, their physical needs, Lord, their protection, Lord, the food and all that they need, the Lord. Water. We thank you, Lord, for the water and Lord, that we would help with this water system, Lord, purifier yes. and Father, the water well. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for all those that you are speaking to, that, Lord, they would help and assist in this situation. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for those that have already helped so much, Lord. Yes. We just bless them. And we thank you for Brother Walter and Sister Nina, who have yes. a concern for these these things that are needed yes. so much, Lord. We pray oh, for God. the protection of the people, for yes. the ministers, for those, Lord, that pastors that are working, yes. supplying food, and Lord, Amen. the transportation, taking, Lord, the food and, and the supplies to different areas, yes, Father, Lord. that are needed. And Lord, yes. we ask in Jesus' name for this war to cease, Lord. Yes. Father, your word will accomplish that for which it's sent. Amen. It will not go away empty, oh, but it will accomplish God. as we pray, oh, Father, God. for the God. war God. to cease there yes. in Ukraine. In Jesus', in Jesus name, stop Jesus the leaders Christ. in Jesus' name that are fighting, Lord. And oh. in Jesus' name, I pray for the protection of the people. I pray, yes. Lord, for their homes, In for Jesus Lord, name. those that are have taken been taken from their homes and are yes. being rescued. I, I, oh I, 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 God, I, I, we ask I, I, your protection yes. on them and this war to cease. Send your ministering angels, your warring angels to stop this war. Lord, Amen. in Jesus' name, in we Jesus ask name. Father from in heaven, Father, hear and heal the land, Lord. Yes. We ask in Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for the Ukrainians, Lord, for the Russians, Father, those that are fighting. And Lord, I ask that this war will cease. Yes. We join together and we speak the word of the Lord and we command yes. that this war would cease Devil in Jesus' take. name. Devil, yes. take your hand off this a property of of the Ukrainian people, Lord, their Jesus land, name. Father, in Jesus' name, yes. we just ask for your Amen. blessing upon this nation yes, and those that are coming to Christ. We thank you yes, that they are oh, a testimony God. and a witness to the yes. others that they are dealing with. The they are their Jesus. families, their friends, Father, in Jesus' name, and those yes. soldiers that are in the war, Lord, we ask for them to be Amen. protected, God in Jesus name and their families to be brought together again, Lord. Yes. And Father, we ask in Jesus name, your yes. divine favor on those believers, Amen. Lord, that mm -hmm. are waiting on you and yes. are talking to you and sharing Jesus with name. you, Lord, their hearts concerns. Lord, I pray Jesus in Jesus name. name for every need to be met yes. in Jesus name, physically, financially, Lord, and every way, healing in their bodies. Those yes. that have been wounded, God, oh, we God. pray for them. Father, your healing power in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise <clears throat> God. Uh, thank you. And thank you, thank you on behalf of the pastors, the leaders, the volunteers in Ukraine. They appreciate very much our prayers and our support. 
and we can only support as you uh, allow us to support them. And that is by financially supporting these efforts. You could do that right now by going to our ministry page. There are options to give by PayPal or by Givelify. You could also do that by check, by sending a check to Global Vision Ministries, P.O. Box 5377, El Dorado Hills, California, 95762. And if you're giving for this uh, water situation, just put Ukraine water. We'll know what it is for. And there are. Uh, this is not the only need uh, of this purification uh, well and purification system. This will provide help for a lot of people, but we're also helping uh, those that are uh, hauling water to there. And that is happening from places like uh, Mikolaev and from other regions, people are taking water to those uh, mm -hmm. desperately in need in this hour. So thank you so very much. And Tony, I know that you had something to share with us. Uh, please go ahead. Well, the only thing, uh, this is a war that's going on between Ukraine and Russia. And uh, we are, we're not political. We, uh, we want to see God uh, move by his spirit. We're praying for the people because the people themselves do not want uh, this war. Uh, they want they want to see peace, and we see what has happened. And we don't want to get political, but we we're not blind. We see what is happening. However, there is also a a spiritual battle that's going on. We see the natural, but there is a spiritual battle. The enemy, the devil. Jesus said in John ten ten comes but to steal, kill. And then that third thing Jesus says that the devil does is destroy. He's not even satisfying with stealing and killing. He wants to destroy. And that's actually what we are seeing that is happening there. And we know it's the work of the devil. But what is the will of God? The will of God is that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And that, that, is, that is what we're praying for, that, that powers of hell, maybe, maybe as we have been praying, we haven't been taking uh, authority over the demonic powers that is causing this. Now, I think I have said this before, all through the ages, there has always seemed to be some force that would... Uh, or a dictator, or a a someone like Hitler, uh, a a person that would be height uh, these things. Like in Japan, they had to uh, Tojo. They in Italy, they had Mussolini. And that, this is in my lifetime because I was a little boy. I can remember the Second World War, and and then there there was Hitler himself. And these things, and then after they were killed, then we had Joe Stalin come in and other forces. That demon power seems to jump to every generation. And we see there's demonic powers that is causing what is happening right now. And a matter of fact, in all parts of the world where there is suffering and persecution, especially persecution against the children of God, and where liberties are taken away, and where their people are suffering, and where Christians are dying. And what did I hear the other day? Every so many uh, minutes, there's a Christian that dies, and uh, that's killed somewhere, persecuted. And, and these things are happening. Why? Because of these forces of Satan. And I think what we pray, we need to take more authority over the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And and we do have the power. Mm -hmm. Jesus says in his word that ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And it's not only to be a witness, but it is also to use that power. In the school, I have been teaching on the keys of the kingdom. And God has given the keys of the kingdom to the church. And we are the church, we that believe. The church is not a building. I know a lot of Christians, they think that the church is, uh, is the building. No, 
you're the church. If you're a believer, you're the church. You're the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if we believe that, then greater is he that's in you than he's in the world. Now, the building, thank God for buildings, is where the church comes together. And why do we come together? We come together to practice our faith and we uh, so that when we go out in the world, we, we know what we're doing. We learn the word of God, the promises of God, and we practice the gifts of the spirit so that when we go out, we can shine as a light, as a testimony for, to, for the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so uh, in the school, as I've been teaching on the keys of the kingdom, uh, the, this, Jesus gave it to the, the 12 at that time. And uh, later we see he gave it to the 70. And then in the Great Commission, he gave it to the whole church. And has he changed? Has his word changed? He, the word, the Bible tells us that forever, O oh Lord, thy word is on changing. And settled in heaven. And settled in heaven. Yeah. There's no conflict. There's no disagreement. His word is on changing. And what he did in Bible days, he does today. And though in Bible days there was great persecution, we're seeing we're seeing wars and rumors of wars. And I believe that that day of the Lord is soon at hand. And, and we're going to stand before the Lord one day. And I, I imagine he's going to ask us, what did you do with the keys that I gave you? Now, I don't know if you know this, but in Bible days, that when an owner, a man or rich man, he had slaves or servants. In most cases, they were slaves. And the one that was the smartest, the one that was the most faithful, he would be given a key. And that, that key would be worn around his neck. And it, and it represented authority. Because when people would see that key, if he went into a business place, if his master needed something for uh, food or whatever it might be, equipment, and he was to pur purchase it, his slave could go in, that chosen steward, that chosen slave with that key around his neck, and he could enact, enact anything, anything he needed, he could get because he was acting on the authority that was given to him from his master. Well, to praise God, our master, the Lord Jesus Christ, has given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And just briefly, uh, I, I will tell you that they, it's the word. Well, it's the Holy Spirit. It's the word. It's the name of Jesus itself. These are keys that we need to use them. They represent authority, not only blessing for us, but authority that we may do the commission of Christ. And we need to be quick and ready to do it. Now, this tonight, and I don't know what time, and it, different parts of the world, but tonight, God willing, at, uh, at the school there in Nepal uh, with Brother uh, Deepak translating, I'm going to be speaking, God willing, on 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 the next step of of being used of God by putting on the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of His righteousness, our loins girded with the truth, our feet prepared with the preparation of the gospel, the shield of faith, the two-edged sword, and preparation for every part except one, the back. There's no armor retreat. for the back no because there is no retreat. There's yeah. no turning back. There's only victory because if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. And so, uh, Walter, I guess it's all right to invite folks to tune in because yeah. they'll be in both languages. Uh, I don't understand the Paul. Uh, I, I enjoy when you translate for me because I understand some Spanish and some Ukrainian and some Russian, and uh, and I and I and you and I have seen thousands come to Christ together, working on the platforms, 
And uh, uh, so I invite folks tonight to listen, to come in, tune in, and tell even others to watch. So is that all right with you to invite them? Absolutely. And uh, the prior lessons are posted to uh, other on our uh, page and uh, YouTube. and on YouTube. And tonight's uh, will also be on here live when you start approximately 10, I'm sorry, 8, a, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, West Coast time, uh, um, 11 yeah. p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Um, Brother Tony will be on. It might, he might be on a few minutes before, but sometimes there's just little technicalities that have to be worked out. Uh, in Nepal, sometimes power goes down, sometimes the internet goes down, but approximately 8 p.m. Pacific and 11 p.m. East Coast time, Brother Tony will be on. Now, uh, that would make it uh, kind of early in the morning in uh, some parts of the world. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, uh, uh, but if you can tune in, do that. Uh, and mm -hmm. if not, you can watch it afterwards. Uh, and so, but Brother Tony, you said something very important and the fact that we do not sufficiently use our God-given authority. And I want us to do that. I know Sister Marjorie already prayed for Ukraine, but Brother Tony, would you take authority over those demonic spirits that are causing people, just, just steering people to push this war and, and, and to kill, steal, and destroy? Because as you said, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against those principalities, those rulers of the darkness of this age. And uh, it's not just in an area of conflict like uh, Ukraine right now, but there is spiritual battle going on here in America. Uh, there is spiritual battle going on in other nations, in Cuba, in uh, wherever you're living, there are spiritual battles going on. And we need to exercise as a church, our God-given authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And as Brother Tony well said, one day we're going to be before God. He's going to ask us, did you use that key or those keys that I gave you? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we ask God to do things that he's told us to do. God's not going to, for example, cast out demons. He told us to do that in his name. And so you can pray and pray all you want, asking God to do it, but he's told you to do it. He's not going to do what he That's told right. you to do. And so it is with spiritual authority. God gave us a certain authority that we can exercise, and we need to exercise that. And Brother Tony, perhaps you could do that. Well, let me just say this. Uh, it's uh, like uh, uh, this little story how how that uh, this one man, he was had some people come to him uh, and said, oh, the devil is so strong. And, and he, he walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. That's what Peter wrote. Uh, and and uh, this, this old preacher, he said, uh, yes, but do you know? That all the, the that Jesus has pulled all his te the lion's teeth uh, and he all he can do is gum you. He's pulled the devil's teeth and the devil has been defeated there there on the cross. Uh, hallelujah! When when Jesus was crucified, he paid for our for the penalty for our sins. But not only that, he he passed on that authority that he had to the church. Uh, yes, they had to wait so many days until the day of Pentecost, but they received that power. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to pray right now and take authority because there must be some demons out there, I believe, that are war demons that are in the middle of the war, the killing that is taking place. So let's bind it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to ask Walter, you take the hand of Nina. I'm taking a hand of Marge, and we're going to agree together. And people that are watching, if there's more than one of you watching, take the hand of that one that's near you. If not, just raise one hand towards heaven, 
and in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, together we take authority, we take the key of the kingdom, uh, the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and we claim the promise of God uh, that we read about, that we know about, that we've experienced uh, from Mark 16, where, Lord, uh, you said uh, in your commission that, Lord, in your name, he said, you said, in my name, you will cast out demons. Uh, and we take authority over those killing demons of hell, over the spirits uh, that is in the hearts of those who send soldiers out to kill one another to cause destruction to destroy we take authority in the name that is above every name the name of jesus christ the name the demons fear and tremble and run from hallelujah in the name the name the glorious name of jesus christ and lord i thank you for that anointing I feel right now. Hallelujah. Lord, how great is your power. How great is your name. And you've given that name to the church. And we take that key of authority and we bind and we loosen people and we bind the demon powers in Jesus' name. And Lord, uh, we want to thank you in advance. Uh, you said, uh, Lord, uh, that one uh, would uh, put a thousand to flight <clears throat> to 10,000. And Lord, uh, you see how many are agreeing with someone. Oh, yes. Uh, Lord, uh, like I'm holding my wife's hand, two would put 10,000. Walter and Nina holding hands. They will put 10,000 uh, to flight. Others that are watching in different parts of the world, they're in Finland, they're in England. Uh, those that will later be praying with someone else are praying themselves, uh, Lord, uh, binding, using the key in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes. Uh, many are being set free. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bring, bring this war to an end. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Lord, we sense in our spirits, Ooh. our hearts, Hallelujah. that you're at work. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We speak peace. Amen. Amen. Peace. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 And um, I want us to pray now for America. America needs revival. Canada needs revival. As we pray for our nation, pray for your nation. Take authority over those destructive demonic spirits that want to destroy your nation. So let's pray. Let's agree. This nation needs God's intervention. Amen. Many nations, all nations do. So pray, pray for us, Amen. pray for your nation. We are standing in Amen. agreement with you. Amen. So Father, we come to you today believing for your divine intervention to save our country from destruction. We ask that your kingdom come and that your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask heaven angel armies to invade, to assist the fight against the plans of the enemy. We ask for your divine rescue from destruction. Jesus. Father, show us your mighty acts of days long ago. May this nation see your awesome power on display and acknowledge that there is only one mighty God in the heavens, that they too will glorify your name. We bind and we thwart every evil attempt coming against the United States of America and we bring down every stronghold and principality, exalting itself against the knowledge of God. We bind the demonic spirits behind evil decisions to destroy our country. Father, may revival start in the hearts of believers 
as you empower your church to move in supernatural power, demonstrating in signs and wonders for the world to see. Father, send revival to every town, city, and state. Pour out your spirit upon every state capital. May your Holy Spirit hover over this nation, awaking the hearts of people. Father, we pray for every politician to recognize that you, Lord, are the ultimate judge, and they will be held accountable for their actions. May the fear of God fall on them to repent and to lead in righteousness, Lord. Father, we bind every demonic entity that is trying to stop your plans and purposes for our country. Father, judge those who deceive and purposely want to harm this nation. Father, remove leaders who rule with evil intent. We bind the demonic spirits behind evil motives and agendas in this country. We ask the Holy Spirit to hover over the United States and heal our land. Do not let the enemy triumph over us, Father. Answer us, Lord. Show the world that you are indeed active and alert, watching over your word to perform it. So, Lord, we decree breakthrough of justice in this land. We break pray and believe for breakthrough of healing in our land breakthrough of prodigals coming home breakthrough of depression healed breakthrough of addicts being delivered breakthrough of relationships and marriages restored breakthrough of joy and hope for the brokenhearted breakthrough revival fires across this land ignite your church with boldness and strength to walk in holiness declaring your word with signs and wonders we are declaring a revival in the land and we decree that America shall be saved yes. in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Lord. Amen we Lord. Thank you Lord thank for the Jesus. salvation of many souls. Jesus. We thank you for revival fires that are starting here. Jesus. We thank you for revival fires that shall come to yes. Canada. And even as they had physical fires, may now spiritual yes, fires, yes. Holy Ghost fires start and light up yes, throughout Lord, the nation yes. of Canada. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray for the nation of Mexico. Yes, we Lord pray Jesus. for all of North America, Lord, the Caribbean Lord. nations, especially Cuba. Lord, we send your word to them. We bind the demonic spirits operating there as well. And we release your power. We release your Holy yes, Spirit Jesus. to move, to operate freely. Bring conviction yeah. to hearts, bring salvation to souls yes, Lord, in Jesus. the name of Jesus God, Christ. Lord, and Lord Thank God, we Jesus. come against the spirit Thank of corruption you, in this nation, in every nation. Lord, may that to be exposed and may be dealt with, may justice come in the name of Jesus Christ against every form of corruption in society, in government, in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray that America would once again experience yes. your grace yes. and your visitation in Jesus name we declare America shall be saved amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen but brother Tony there may be people of tuned in who do not know Christ as their savior would you or sister Marge lead them in a prayer of uh, salvation you that are watching, do you know that today is your day? If you do not know Jesus, today is the day that you can open your heart and become a child of God. And you could eventually receive the keys of the kingdom. You will have authority to overcome sin in your life, to overcome many things that the enemy may attack you with, fear, depression. Those are things that once you're a believer, that when I say believer, one who has received Christ into their hearts, and this is your day, because the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. So would you, if you want to receive Christ, pray this prayer. It's a simple prayer. It's a prayer of repentance and a prayer of receiving. Getting rid of the sins and receiving the peace and joy that comes with receiving Christ. So lay your hand on your heart as a point of contact and pray this prayer out loud. You can repeat it. Marge is going to repeat it after me. And 
and you pray it and mean it from your heart and a change can begin today. Pray this prayer sincerely. Pray, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. I see my need. I see my need. I want to be a child of God. I want to be a child of God. I want to know you. I want to know you. As a personal Savior. As a personal Savior. I know that you died for... I all the people of the earth. I know that you died for all the people of the earth. But I want you to be my personal savior. But I want you to be my personal savior. I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. I, I confess all my past sins. I confess all my past sins. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. And from this moment. And from this moment. Because your blood cleanses me from all sin. Because your blood cleanses me from all sin. To follow you. To follow you. To live for you. To to live for you. I receive. I receive you as my personal savior. You as my personal savior. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord. I believe. I believe from this moment, from this moment, from with your help, with your help to live for you, to live for you. If I slip, Lord, if I slip, Lord, uh, lift me up, lift me up because I want to follow you because I want to follow you from this day on, from this day on, I confess Jesus Christ. I confess Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior. As my own personal savior. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you have prayed that prayer, then something wonderful has happened. Somewhere in heaven. I don't know if it's an angel or if it's the Lord himself. I believe he's got a big pencil, a big pen, and he writes your name in his book of life. And he gives us a new name that we're called by. Now, I don't know what name that will be, but it's a new name. Just like our sins have been washed away and we're a new person in Christ because we've been born again by believing on him, he writes our name in the book of life. And from this moment, you are a child of God now to live in victory. And it's not easy sometimes because the devil, uh, like Kenneth Hagin one time was asked, uh, what can, because he used to say, have never said, say anything bad about people. And they, and they wondered what he would say about the devil. And somebody said to him, oh, can you think of anything good about the devil? And he thought for a moment, well, He's persistent. Uh, I don't know if that is good or bad, but that enemy is persistent. He may try to knock you down, but praise God. And he's consistent with it. <laughs> and he's, yes, he is. And, yes. And, 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 and he may knock you down, but there's someone there to lift you up, and it's Jesus. The Bible says, my, my little children, I, I don't sin, but if you do sin, there is someone who is just and faithful to All forgive right, you of sin. His name is Jesus, and his blood will cleanse you. He has cleansed you now. You're a child of God. But you need to do at least three things. It's not hard. Talk to him every day like a friend. Begin your day. And the more you talk, the more you will. And we call it prayer. And it can be simple, but talk to him like a friend. Because he knows you. And once he knows all about you, you need to know about him. So that brings you to the second thing you need to do. You need to read the Bible, the New Testament, God's will, perfect will for your life. Read the gospel of John, the fourth book within the New Testament. And it will help you so much. Even if it's a few verses every day, take time. But once you start reading, you, you're probably going to want to read more and more about Jesus. 
because you are now included in the family of God. And third, tell others, tell your family, share what Jesus has done. As, as you start to realize what he has done for you, share it with others and get become a part of a fellowship, a fellowship that uh, is, is serving God and trying to grow in the, in the knowledge of our Lord. God bless you. I believe today something good has happened to you. Brother Walter. Amen. And some of you are in need of healing, right. are in need of a breakthrough in your life. Put your hand where you are suffering. If it is possible, if you are near someone who is ill, who needs healing, would you extend your hand to that person and lay it on them if it's possible? And if you are praying for someone at a long distance, uh, get this broadcast to them. And you could take a napkin, a, a handkerchief or something, put your hand on it right now as a point of contact, and then later send that to them. But we're going to pray right now. We're going to agree. We're going to believe that God intervenes in your life and your circumstance, and that healing comes forth in the name of Jesus Christ, because by his stripes, you are healed. We were healed, the Bible says, past tense. Jesus yeah. paid for your healing. Yeah. We're going to believe for it to manifest right now yes, in your yes, body yes. right now. So put your hand where you're suffering, if it is possible. If not, put your hand on your heart. And if it's someone you're praying for right now that is near you, put your hand on them right now as we pray, believe, and agree and see what God is going to do or has already done. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up Oscar. We lift up him there in that state of coma. We command the spirit of death leave in Jesus. Then we command him to break out of that coma right now, and we speak life over Oscar in Washington State in Jesus' name. We send your word to that one who's got a water retention problem. Heal in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal those tears. Heal that student too. God, that neck, those ears, those neck muscles, Father, that spine. I speak healing to that spine. Be straightened out. This come into your place. Be healed. Be restored. No discs. Be created where others had deteriorated. In Jesus' name. And we speak healing to the spine. Healing to the lower back. The upper back. Oh, God. The middle. In Jesus' name, we speak health. Healing yes, to that Lord, rotator you, cup, healing yes, to that the knee, healing to those knees, healing to those ankle bones, those feet, those toes, those hands. Yes, yes that arm in the bicep in Jesus' name, muscles yes, be healed, Jesus. nerves and nerve endings be healed right now. Oh, Father, I thank you that you're a healing blindness right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for touching those eyes. Eyes yes, come Jesus. open in Jesus' name right yes, now. Jesus, right and I speak Jesus. healing. Ears come open. And Break Jesus. through right now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Financial Jesus. curse be That's broken and finances begin to flow that belong to you into your life in Jesus' name right Jesus. now. Jesus. We take authority Jesus. over every Jesus. demonic spirit. And we declare victory. We declare the blessings of God are ours. We stand on the covenant of God. And we thank you that we are in a blood covenant with Jesus Christ. We are in a blood covenant with the Father through Jesus Christ. And we thank you that healing was provided is part of that new covenant. And we are healed by the stripes 
of Jesus Christ and his blood not only washes away all our sins, but covers us yes. and protects us from every demonic yes. spirit. Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, yes. I take authority over you, spirit of infirmity, yes. and I command you, come out, yes. loosen Jesus. your hold and leave, leave that body right now. You mouse that has been hunching that person over. I command you get off their back right now in Jesus' name. You spirit of infirmity, your life, you spirit, come out. You spirit of fear, come out in Jesus' name right now. And Father, I pronounce these people healed by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ and by the covenant that Jesus has made with us through his blood, that by his stripes, as your word declares, we were healed. You are the Lord, our healer, and we believe that, we receive that. And Lord God, we speak health, we speak life over those who are watching right now, over Tony and Marge. We speak strength and life and, yes. and blessing. Oh God, a renewal of strength yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Supernatural Jesus. health, oh God, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ and spirit, soul, mind, and body. And, oh, we declare that over you right now to receive your healing, receive that touch. Oh, Thank may you, the Jesus. resurrection, oh yes, the resurrection power yes, the of word. Jesus Thank Christ you. is flowing into you right now, Thank expelling you, that sickness, yes. expelling that disease, you, expelling Jesus. that cancer, believe that, receive yes. that, yes, yes, every cancerous cell die, come out in Jesus' name, healing come mm. forth. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God is working. God is touching. Oh, the Lord is moving in you right now. I said that. I believe that. And just re you need to receive that. You need to begin to thank God. You need to begin to praise him. God has heard this prayer and your prayer of agreement. And right now, that manifestation is coming into your life. That pain is is leaving Jesus. that uh, that the, yes that sickness is leaving right now Amen. somebody had blindness believe right now try open that eye that you could not see from and see in the name of Jesus Christ uh, oh the power of God is flowing Amen. and there is no distance there is no distance in prayer you may be in the continent of Africa you may be in the Middle East you may be in Dubai you may be in uh, um, Asia you may be in China Hong Kong or Taiwan you may be in Indonesia you may be in the United Kingdom or in Europe or here in America, in Canada, in Mexico, in Cuba, God is touching you right now. Receive the manifestation of your healing in your life Amen. right now. That financial breakthrough, you're not under the curse. You are in the blessing of God. The blessing of Abraham is yours. The blessings of Jesus Christ are yours. Amen. You are in covenant with God. Amen. Believe that. Receive that. God has made a covenant with you yes. through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Oh, God's power is flowing. I sense that. Yes. Uh, just keep declaring God's word. God is faithful to his promises. Keep declaring God's word over your sickness. Keep declaring God's word over your finances. God hears. God works through his word. And his word is his will. So do not forget. Be persistent. The devil may be persistent, but God wants you to be persistent, telling him and declaring God's word over the situation on a daily basis. Amen. Brother Tony, maybe God's given you something to I just sense uh, a wonderful spirit, a wonderful anointing as we all prayed. I think of all the times we've prayed together and, and things have happened that there was a stronger anointing today. Uh, that's what I sense that I've uh, that's gone out into the uh, far corners of the earth and uh, people not only now, but in the future are going to experience something uh, like on YouTube where 
people sometimes uh, see something that's several years old. Uh, like, for example, I, I, I listen to some sermons of, of men that have been gone for many, many years that even uh, uh, some of these preachers from the 50s uh, and uh, uh, 1950s and, and even longer back uh, and, and, and that there's anointing and there's people that in the future are going to watch this and they're going to be healed. They're going to be saved mm -hmm. and uh, watching it on YouTube or one of the other platforms. And I believe that God wants to increase your ministry, both of you, in a very special way. And I believe there's going to be more platforms, more, uh, and I can't explain now what I sense in my spirit, but there's going to be more outreach and more people are going to be touched in the future. And, and I don't know how God's plan exactly, but I can see that there's going to be an increase. And as you both run the race, keep the faith. God is going to do it. And there may be some rough times along the way, but he's going to bring you through. And you're going to be a blessing to many, many people of the earth. And, and people right now are receiving, as you prayed the prayer of faith, there have been people that have felt a anointing come upon them. We felt it here. And, and that anointing will set you free. That anointing will take away that depression. That mm -hmm. anointing can heal your eyes. It yeah. can heal your ears. It can heal your body. It can touch you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet because God's word says in the third epistle, that one chapter epistle in, third, uh, in the third epistle of John, where it says, beloved, second verse, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper even as your soul prospers. God wants to bless you spiritually, physically, and even materially. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Walter, just when Nina, I wanted to add this. If you have shared the gospel with people or your testimony and sometimes they've rejected it don't be discouraged because god answers prayer his word will not return void and as we're praying for people and have prayed the prayer of faith together yes. god is hearing these prayers he his word will not return void it'll never go back empty Amen. It'll accomplish. So keep standing on God's word. Keep praying. Keep talking to people. Keep sharing your testimony. Keep sharing the gospel wherever you are. Be encouraged because God is pleased with your work. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Amen. Brother Walter, Nina, God is pleased with you as you do the will of God. You seek God and his kingdom first. He will bless you and continue to bless you greater than ever before. Hallelujah. Amen. I agree. Amen. I agree. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for being on the broadcast Thank today. You. But I sense that God is still working right now and, and don't want to close without giving you that opportunity to just draw closer to God right now. We pray the printer, sinner's prayer already. Mm -hmm. But if you're there someplace and you say, well, I'm too far gone. I've You don't know what I've done. It's true. I don't. But God does. And God is a forgiving God. And his grace is extended to you right now right now and just repent and say, God, I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. And he will right now, just Amen. from your heart, speak that out Amen. to him. He will come into your life. He will change you. He will save you. He'll make you a new creation, just like if you've never, ever sinned before. It's impossible. Yes, with men, it's impossible. Jesus. With God, all things are possible. Jesus. And so put your trust in God. Amen. And if you were out there and you were needing healing, believe That's that right. God is healing you already. Amen. And some of you, the pain is gone. That's a sign that God has touched you. He's working in your life. Begin to praise him. Act out yes. your faith. Exercise your faith. By faith, 
start doing those things you didn't think you could do, believing that God has heard your prayer. Mm-hmm. So extend or 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 exercise your faith right now. So it's very important that you do that as God sees your faith in action, that manifestation comes right there. And so yeah. do that right now. Remember that man in Brazil, I, I started teaching on this and, and he walked in on crutches, uh, 22 years or so, a paralytic. And as I said, put your faith in action. If you could not walk, begin to walk. I was still just teaching, hadn't gotten to the prayer. Well, he got up and starts walking. Well, that place uh, just, these were mostly new uh, converts and they just erupted, started praising God and uh, and asked me to stop teaching to see what God had done. Well, I could see what God had done because I saw him walk in as I began teaching and sit down, just barely moving on those crutches. And now he was walking without the crutches, healed by the power of Jesus Christ. Well, that same God is working in your life. There is no distance in prayer. You may be in Brazil. You may be in Sweden. You may be in Norway. You may be in Spain or Portugal or the Netherlands. It does not matter. Right there in Ukraine, right there in Russia, right there in the Far East, in Mongolia, you may have tuned in. In Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, it does not matter where you're at right now. They're in the United Arab Emirates or in Doha, um, in Qatar. Wherever you are, God will touch you if you allow him to. And he is touching right now. He is healing right now. He's speaking into your life. Just open your heart and invite him in and say, I believe in you, God. I know that you are the one and only true God. I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. And he will right now. And let me tell you, it is the most important decision you could ever make in your life. Well, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Tony and Marge, for being on here. And you will be seeing uh, Brother Tony back on here later tonight around 8 p.m. Pacific, uh, 11 p.m. East Coast time as he teaches at the Abundant Life Bible School in Nepal, Nepal, that is right on the border with India. India. And there's some wonderful students from all over Nepal who are studying there, whom we believe God is going to use in a mighty way. Also go back and watch the prior lessons from the last four nights that Brother Tony has been teaching there. And thank you, Brother Tony, Sister March, for you, uh, your participation and your support, your ministry support of One Life Crusades for all these different ministries, not only that we are doing that you have been a part of, but you are doing things all over the world. May God richly bless you. May God Mm -hmm. recompense you. And uh, when we're away, we thank you that you're going to be sitting in here hosting the various broadcasts, and we thank you in advance for doing that. Uh, yes. We're heading off to Cuba in just a few days, and we are believing God for wonderful things. It'll, it's will kind of hard with internet there. We I think Brother Albert said he had a total of eight minutes of uh, internet access when we were there for a whole week in Cuba earlier this year. So it's a little hard uh, to be able to transmit something from there, but we will try to post perhaps some photos and and then give you the report when we get out of there. But uh, pray for us. We're still uh, uh, here in the U.S. for a few more days, but we want to uh, ask you to please share this program. It's very important. You've seen what happened. God is touching. God is healing. God is saving. God is encouraging. There are words uh, that are spoken on here, teaching, instruction, encouragement, uh, um, and sometimes a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, uh, a word of faith, um, and, and healing is taking place. But if people don't know about it, how are they going to benefit from it? You need to share. So please take a quick moment. If you haven't done so already, press that little share button. If you already did it, do it again. It's not going to hurt. It's just <laughs> going to go cycling in between other things that you post. And you don't know whom you might help 
to reach. It might be the next Billy Graham. It might be the next Tony Abram. You don't know mm -hmm. uh, who that God can touch and save through your testimony and through sharing a program like this. It's very important. If you're watching on YouTube or on our webpage, do the same. We need to get God's word out and help people. And, and that's, we not only pray, but you hear us talking, explaining how uh, prayer works. We explain the spiritual authority we have, and that is crucial in your prayer life. And we're not just here to pray for you. We're here to help you to know how better to pray and exercise your God-given authority. Amen. 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 Well, we always close this program by saying, remember that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We love you and God bless you. Amen.